Okay, in today's video, uh, basically I'll be carrying over to uh, show how I do alarming. Um, you know, this is an alarm summary page. Uh, basically, I'll have like a first out fault up mm -hmm. top, and then I'll have a uh, another, basically an, uh, an alarm summary of any kind of alarms that pop up. So, and, and you can kind of space this out how you want it, you know, um, but the premise behind this is, and I'll show you the logic is that you have basically a, a first out fault system, like a routine first out fault ALMD. So that will be delivering the alarm, um, I guess, message to the alarm summary. You have a warnings, uh, a warning ALMD, and then a fault. Uh, so the, basically the fault triggers the bits. So real quick, I'll kind of explain how the system works. So, uh, this is the reset, uh, rung two is a reset. Rung one is the, is the trigger to the reset. Um, that's just the FOS reset. And that point we, uh, we index a zero into all 15 of the, um, the words that we are, are going to mask. Um, we also index a zero through the results and a zero to the, um, control position. And the fault number so at that point let's we'll talk about the next section which is the mat uh, basically the mask sorry about that so in the mask uh basically we have 14 or 15 uh words of data that we sent through a mask and in the mask is masked to a negative one so that it will have a result of uh whatever comes in will come out uh if not it would be offset so so just know in, in the mask and that it, that can be explained easily if you go to the uh, instruction help basically it'll indicate you know uh, the pass through and uh, so you can kind of see you know what happens uh, when it happens and, and there you know thereof you know how to use a mask uh, we won't kind of get in too deep into that because that's, that's kind of uh, I kind of want to address some other stuff in this video uh, rather than just instructions. So uh, basically, the um, again, we have 15 words of data. So if you look at 15 words, so 15 times uh, 32 bits, right? We have a total of 480 alarms that we can put in, right? And this is, again, this is a first out fault system. So um, the first one that passes through is going to win. So, and I'll, I'll get exactly to that in just the next rung. But the premise behind this is to send all 15 of the, um, the words through a mask, each one of them having their own individual mask. So you can see that, right? All the way down to 14. And then after that it basically goes to a point that it says if the fault reset is not pressed and the uh, file bit comparison control is equal to zero then it will scan it will keep scanning all of the words of data that we we filtered so what we do is we take the filtered data which is right here into the source of the file bit comparison and we compare it against 14 or 15 uh, all zeros so another another uh, array if you would uh, a dent of 15 so 15 words of data that are all equal to zero and that's easily shown that they're all equal to zero right here right so we'll go back to that okay so we're basically comparing all the filter data which is the 15 dents against the uh, 15 dents of, of zero and the result comes back under the result fof now the again the control right here is just the control to run the file bit comparison and as it's running it's scanning through all uh, 480 bits that we have 
Now, if it finds any one of those bits, it's going to deliver that, that exact position, and that exact position will show up. So, um, and then the very next rung, that position will, again, not be equal to, and then show a fault detected. So, this is actually how we do a first out fault. So, if, let me, uh, let me index a fault, and I'm actually, to address the uh, dents coming in, right? So the words going into the mask are all basically der uh, derived from our routine that we have is called faults. And if you look, it's alias. Every alarm that we have is an alias of that particular bit in that word. So all the way down to, um, you know, our total that we have. And in this case, I'm not using all 480. Um, I'm using 240 because this is simulation. And I don't want to eat up too much memory in the simulation. So uh, it is still scanning all 480 bits, but it's not actually using that. So if I trigger one of these bits, it's going to come back to pass through our filter and when it passes through the filter it's not going to equal zero and it's going to end up in that position whatever bit that I toggle so if you would like to see that I can come down and I think I have some used like right here um, so if I toggle 97 and I go back to the uh, mask, then you can see that word, um, basically word four, well it's just three right here, so, but it's zero, one, two, three, right? So, so basically the second bit is passing through as the filter. And then it's going to come down and say, well, in that bit, passes through to the zero, it's going to say, okay, I found uh, position 98, right? Because it's offset by one. And then after that, it's going to come down and say, well, position 98 was found and the fault was detected. So, and down here it says 97, which is the one we toggled. Now, to uh, get that alarm to populate, to the alarm screen which I'll show you that alarm populated right here the condition was tripped the message that popped up was the um, you know AV01 and to get that to pop up I'll show you um, is basically and the other routine this is FOF ALMD so we're using um, analog or digital alarms uh, which is basically the uh, what ties the alarm message to the SE temp or SE system. So let's go to sorry, I scroll past it. Uh, 97, and you can see that 97. If we open up the instruction, we can see that the tag string that we have in there shows what is currently uh, being put in there. So we put a message right here that basically says that we want it to display tag one right the first one and the second one so we want to, to display this so we want to display two first then the the actual number and then the first tag so if you look in the uh, what we currently have with well, the thing that's actually popping up as the message is the first string right the name and then it's popping up the number and then it's popping up the first string so again if we come back to the tag so it's popping up the name which if we highlight it right right here it's showing LBT and then the number and then the tag 
So in the tag, it's showing AV01 interlocked. So again, that's just the string that we type in to get to that. And then the, uh, the severity is what we use to determine the color. So, um, again, this is exactly, and you see this bit is the one I toggled. So if I go back to faults, it was the first out fault 3.1. I, and again, 97, 3.1. What got found in the first out fault, again, is that same bit, right, 3.1, which would equal 2 in the binary coded decimal, right? So in that token, it's going to come down here in the file bit comparison and go through the zeros and not equal 0 anymore, and it's going to find 98, which in turn gives us our fault, right? And if I trigger another one, so if we go down and we said, well, let's just trigger another one. Let's just do 98, 99, 100, 101, 102. Then we go right back to it. Then everything pops in here as exactly what the message is. It tells you the time that it pops in. So you see that. The first trigger was at uh, 11.26, and this one is, these the last ones were at 11.30. So in that token, um, this all shows you exactly how that we tie, how we find, first, how we find the first out fault, which is up top here, right? And then in the alarm summary, how we show all the alarms. So how you show all the alarms is basically through the ALMDs. So the ALMDs will show all the alarms in alarm summary. And in the alarm summary on, on the very top that we have, we're basically producing that through the first out fault. So in the first out fault system, we're basically producing that. And that's basically off the one ALMD we have at the very bottom. So that would just produce this one tag and produce exactly what came out. And again, if you looked at what come out, it was LBT uh, AV01 interlocked, which should be LBT AV01 interlocked. So that was the first out fault up here. This section was the alarm summary, right? The alarm summary would show exactly what uh, all the alarms that are currently active, which in our case, again, is um, 97 through 101. And if we come in and we hit a reset, like if we come in and hit a reset, and I hit it a couple times because uh, normally it's an HMI reset. Then it should clear everything, and of course it didn't because this is a simulation. And I'm not doing an HMI reset, I'm actually just toggling it with my finger, so it's probably not as quick or slow as it needs to be. Okay, let's see, that should, that may have gotten it. Yeah, so it's back scanning now, so we should have no faults. Um, all faults are reset. There's nothing in the first out fault up here. There's nothing in the alarm summary. Um, and then we roll back to uh, the system scanning again. So again, the file bit comparison is what we we do all of our first out fault. Uh, if you wanted to research the file bit comparison on how to use it, um, basically just go into the instruction help. Um, you can see exactly what we've done. Um, you know how deep your arrays can be. Um, again, we're using it at 408 and 480 bits. So um, it's best to, you know, and it even shows you, you know, the flow charts and stuff like that if you wanted to look at that. So 
Uh, I'm not going to get into that for the sake of the time of this video. So I uh, just wanted to show you, and again, I'm not, I don't want to just break down instructions unless you guys request to, to see instructions, you know, kind of broken down a little bit more. But the, uh, the process of, of what we're doing in this uh, is what I wanted to address in this video. So basically, again, we're taking, we're resetting all 15 words right here, throwing a zero in them, resetting the result and the uh, and file bit comparison instruction. We're, think, we're saying that if any bit in all 15 words, because they pass through a mask, if any bit in all 15 words comes true, then the first one that comes true will be found by the one that's basically the five bit comparison this comparing all 15 dents the filter dents against zeros and then that's going to give you a result so again and that's going to uh, be derived off of the faults that we have right so all these are aliased back to those uh, words that we have up here so and then that's also tied to the back side of that is tied to the ALMDs that we're feeding out to our alarm summary. So again, I hope uh, hopefully that was a, a little enlightening and showing you how to do different alarms. I've had several different people ask me how to do alarming and um, you know actually seeing uh, a couple of homemade instructions and stuff of that nature. I think you can get, um, I guess, pretty uh, pretty caught up in a homemade instruction if you were trying to do that. This is probably the uh, the better way, I would say, using ALMDs. I'm not saying you have to use uh, a first out fault system, but I would I would definitely recommend using an SE system with um, like an uh, ALMD <clears throat> because you can put. And you don't have to have a word structure here, right? You don't have to have a string attached to it. That you can just type in the, the alarm you want right here, right? So you can just type it in. Like you can name whatever you want to right here. You don't necessarily have to do it as elaborate as we did. But I'd I just like to show you the potential that this has. Um, you know, because it's, it's a really powerful tool. And it ties in very easily with the default template of... Um, the alarm summary screen if you were just to make that. So again, I just want to uh, wanted to show you the uh, easier easier way to do uh, faults. Being, I had a lot of questions about that, and uh, hopefully that cleared some stuff up and, and kind of got some some questions stirred and and maybe some answers. Um, you know, as far as what you should be doing, what you should be looking at, and uh, maybe gave you some ideas. So hopefully that was helpful, and uh, again, uh, if you have any questions, just drop me a line, and uh, we'll be talking to you. Thank you.